Today we're gonna make my chocolate chip cookies. Yum. For a single recipe, I start with two sticks of unsalted butter that I microwave for 20 so seconds, depending on your microwave, to soften just a little bit. I place the two sticks of softened butter and one cup of sugar and one cup of brown sugar in a large mixing bowl. So I just added a teaspoon of vanilla. I just like to leave my mixer running and whipping it. I don't know why. I think it just all started by doing something else and forgetting about it, but it makes the cookies really good for some reason. Then I have um, two full eggs that I'm going to add to this. And I like to do them in a separate glass because I can't tell you how many times I've cracked them on the side here and the whole darn egg shells have gone in there. I I'm going to add those two eggs, I'm going to whip it some more, and I scrape down my bowl a little bit with a spatula. I'm going to stop it for a second, scrape it down, and then I go back at it. And I just kind of let this run for a second while I go and sift my dry ingredients. So in my sifter, and I like this old-fashioned kind of the crank, I have two and a half, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm going to uh, crank the sifter. That's why I like this one. The other one is so hard and it's kind of old-fashioned. Makes me feel like I'm, you know, mom in the kitchen or something. Do all that. And then I put my mixer back on. And I start to add this, which, you know, flour always goes flying. You know, I'm not the tidiest little uh, baker, but um, I slowly add this flour. I let that mix, and like I did before, I get my um, spatula, and I take a second and I scrape down the bowl to make sure I get all those ingredients mixed up. This is usually when my kids come in and start dipping their finger in. Now I'm going to add, um, I kind of go a little overboard, like the two whole cups of chocolate chips, semi-sweet, and um, I kind of crank it up for a minute and really get it mixed. And then like before, I keep uh, pulling back my trusty spatula and I push it all down and it's really ready to rock. It's good. I like to use two giant tablespoons and just drop my dough on my parchment lined cookie sheet. And I do three across and four down. I like to prepare two sheets full and have two sheets ready to go while the other ones are in the oven. And if I'm doing a double batch, I got four in the oven and four waiting to go. And that way, it goes so fast. You put these in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes, and um, you pull them out, you get them on the rack, and you pop in another set. And you can make a lot of cookies in, you know, 45 minutes, an hour. So I put them both in the oven, middle and upwards, 375 for 10 minutes. I want them to be flat and golden brown, but browner than that even. Then I slide them off the parchment. You can see they're golden brown, beautiful. And I put them out on a baker's rack to cool. So then all you have left is to put them in a sweet little jar. And I'll tell you, your family will gobble these up. If they last one day, you'll be lucky. This is my husband's favorite cookie jar. But I'll tell you something. One of my favorite things to do is to put a bunch of these in a Ziploc um, plastic bag and put them in my freezer. They are so much better frozen because then the, um, the cookie's not frozen, but the chocolate is, and they're delicious. So good luck, and I hope you like my little recipe.